What is up YouTube and welcome to another Crib Zone Excursion. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up, subscribe for more. KZE, I can afford child support. Welcome to another Crib Zone Excursion. This is for all the people that are interested in either adopting or purchasing a Siberian Husky. This is a very unique dog breed. I really want to stress out highly energetic and independent dog breed. Those two words are the best words to describe the Siberian Husky. Energetic and independent. These dogs were bred to pull, designed to be in the front of the pack. That by itself is big enough reason for people to either get this dog or avoid this dog. If you're super energetic, if you love taking your dog places, the Siberian Husky might be for you. Taking care of a dog is a life thing commitment. I'm not talking about your weekly hikes. I'm talking about these dogs need to be exercised daily. These dogs were meant to run. If you're not willing to spend a ton of time exercising this dog, don't even consider getting this dog. If you already own a Siberian Husky, exercise your dog. I repeat, exercise your dog. It is extremely important to exercise this dog breed. That does not go for every dog breed. There's dog breeds where if you run them, they might die because of overheating. But the Siberian Husky is a dog breed that could run forever. And I mean forever. If you're a couch potato, if you do not like leaving your home the Siberian Husky is not for you since these dogs are so independent another thing that comes with it is dominance these dogs always want to be in the front they love to express their leadership there's a difference between dominance and aggressiveness as far as is dominance normal behavior in dogs of course it should always be corrected but for that you would most likely need professional dog training KZE what's more difficult to take care of the rat or crypto Crypto needs a ton more exercise than the rat. The rat is completely fine laying in bed all day. Crypto, on the other hand, needs exercise to clean his mind or else he's gonna get really bad thoughts in his mind, leading to your dog wanting to escape. Siberian Huskies are extremely well at escaping. If you do not own a backyard that is capable of housing a Siberian Husky, this dog breed is not for you. Can a Husky live in an apartment? Dogs are really good at adapting to environment. Yes, any dog can live in an apartment. If you have no previous dog experience, would I recommend owning a Siberian Husky? Unless you're planning to use the dog for their main purpose, which is mushing, then I would not recommend getting this dog. If you're not using the Husky for what they're made for, all their other attributes, such as obedience, other dogs can perform much better. There's gonna be much easier dogs to train than the Siberian Husky. With all the independence, they are extremely stubborn. If it's your first time training a dog, of course it's not impossible. If if you want the best experience, I would recommend a different beginner dog than a Siberian Husky. Unless you're planning to use them for what they're designed to do, of course. Crypto here is around two years and eight months. He is still extremely active. He still wants to go out. Dogs start to mellow out at around three years. I know I said dogs mellow out at three years, but the fruit here is 10 years old and he's as fruity as he's ever been. With the dog collar reading, if it walks, I'll smash. I don't think there's anything possible Crypto can do to get away. Definitely excited to see the change difference when he gets a little bit older. Him always wanting to be out could be pretty annoying. I'm pretty sure it won't affect his endurance and everything. Probably still breed full studness. That lasts for a good amount of years. The Siberian Husky, this dog is extremely popular. KZE, exactly how is Crypto's behavior? Well, if you guys watch my videos, that's his exact behavior. Look at him. It's just a rat. Get on the rod. <laughs> You're gonna let him get him? The rat is such an alpha. I fucking love it. Hey.
Let me see. Let me see it. Crypto, drop it. Drop it. Drop it. I am the commander now. Take a seat. Yeah, that way. This is what a husky is meant to do. These dogs are meant to pull. Slow, hey. Keep in mind that a dog will always cost a good amount of money and you should always have money saved up for a dog. That being food wise, vet bill wise, you have to be financially stable in order to support any type of dog. The harness Crypto's rocking is known as the Explorer Harness. I'll throw a link down in the description. A lot of you guys ask what harness that is. This harness is $50. Last time I checked, I am filming on the DSLR. Booty up ahead. Better not want to smell it, dog. <laughs> what a savage. What a complete savage. Oh my god. <laughs> Who does that? I knew he was going to do it too because he got extremely close to her. <laughs> Shouts out the Trojans! Sit down, go boy! Oh, go boy! Oh my god! Wait, wait! Hey. Slow, slow, crypto. Oh, another GSD. Hi. <laughs> what type of dogs are they? Oh, nice. No, no. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> oh, he's charging. <laughs> the drift strike currently has no brakes, so this will be fun. Slow, slow. Slow. Oh. Ah. oh my gosh. Oh. Hopefully the rain doesn't catch us. And in this one, we're going to be talking everything supernatural. From aliens to ghosts to chupacabras. And no, I'm not talking about my ex. This is if there's even a galaxy, if there's outer space. How do we know we're not being lied to? Ignoring all that, if there is a universe, of course we're not the only beings to, to live. Of course we're not the only beings to exist. We have no idea how big the galaxy is. It's pretty difficult for me to believe that we're the only living creatures. Have I ever encountered an alien? Besides my uncle Chipotle, I have not encountered a random alien. Love to encounter an alien. That would be awesome. Do I believe in ghosts? 
Ghosts are said to be when a person dies, your soul leaves your body. When somebody doesn't fulfill what they're meant to do, or if they leave something behind, that is when somebody's soul remains on earth. Sadly, I haven't had the soul sucked out of me yet. I've never experienced anything ghostly, even though my friend who used to live in the same block as me, he always used to tell me that his house was haunted. And one day he was just chilling outside and I asked him, yo, what are you doing? And he said that he was hearing a bunch of stuff. It was three of us. So we go inside. I step foot into the house and we hear doors close. So as soon as that happened, I just walked out. I said, nope, I am not being part of this. I am not being followed by no ghost to my house. Pretty much the only experience I've had with ghosts. It's about a rain, so we're gonna have to go home. Ah. Feel free to follow me on Instagram and on Snapchat at KZE underscore production.